What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we are going to do a long awaited video. It's gonna be a bit more run and gun style just because I feel like this is the best way to really capture this video instead of me just like holding it up and talking about a hoodie, I'd rather try it on and talk about each and every one. But this is gonna be the essential guide to hoodies. It's gonna be every single hoodie that I love and enjoy. Well, not maybe not every single one because there's way too many, but there is gonna be a hell of a lot of hoodies in here. This is an essential guide for you guys to know what to look for in hoodies. I have a plethora of them here lined up for this video. Long time in the making, but plenty of great ones. Definitely one of my favorite layering pieces. Just makes you feel comfy, cozy, confident. There's a lot of versatility in them. You could have them a bit tighter, a bit more oversized, standard. So many options. So I'm just going to get into the first one because I was wearing it today. This is the Vetma 2017 Gun Club hoodie. This is a women's hoodie, I believe, um, because the other iteration of this hoodie was one that I was hunting for for quite some time. I believe it was like an oversized iteration and it was also an Essence exclusive, which is quite nice, of course. But yeah, this one right here obviously gives you a bit more of a tighter vibe, zip up, standard situation. A lot of wearability that can be found in a hoodie just like this. So if you guys know me, zip hoodies are my thing. I love a good zip hoodie just because it's a great layer. You get to show multiple parts of an outfit and it doesn't really cover up everything. Sometimes you want that vibe, but other times a zip hoodie is where it's at because you get the best of both worlds. If you want to keep it open, you keep it open. If not, you zip it up and bada bing bada. This one is specifically by L'Envent, the collaboration with Gallery Department. If you guys didn't know, now you know, I got the little L'Envent right there, Gallery Dep right there, and yeah. It's really nice. Good little long ball hit on the back right here. I think this was a great collaboration. It really worked very well, I found, uh, and I got it for a very fair price. Shout out to Ariel. I really appreciate him for hooking it up. Lavon zip hoodie. What I like about this is more on the oversized zip side. Still gives you that like high fashion slim sleeve, but it's more oversized in the body. So definitely different compared to the other hoodies that I have in my collection. Also the little distressing paint vibe. It's nice, it's nice. Big fan favorite here. This is the Yeezy Gap hoodie. If you are are on a budget and you're looking for the essential pullover hoodie, you have nowhere to look further. This is the one great price point. Kanye like really killed it with this one. Absolutely perfect. There's nothing I would change about it. You're like great deep hood. I have a lot of hair, so it fits my hair. It fits a hat. It, it's just everything and above. Uh, and I have a bunch of colors of this as well. Um, it's just a great hoodie. Double layered. What more do you want? It's like a pure black too. So like, if you're looking for the essential standard hoodie with a good drop shoulder, oversized in nature, this is your way to go, okay? Go true to size. Honestly, every size kind of fits most people. It just depends on what you want out of a hoodie. If you want it a bit tighter or oversized, act accordingly, check the sizing chart and cop up, man. This is this is probably the one. I feel like a lot of people are gonna love this one out of all the hoodies I'm about to show. So this is one of them. One. Taking a break from the black hoodies, this is a hoodie by Strawberry Jams. Rarely do I buy, like I go out of my way and, and purchase clothing from creators outside of the people that I know. Kai I've only met one or two times. Like he's not a personal friend of mine, but I really do support the product that he makes. Because if you guys don't know, Kai Bentley used to do a lot of YouTube content, but now he's slowly transitioning into like a brand, friends with Drake, stuff like that, yada, yada. I'm sure you guys follow Kai. If you follow me, you probably follow Kai. But yeah, he makes great clothes. This is a good like essential piece that he made. This is just like an oversized gray washed out sun faded hoodie. I wore this on my birthday brunch and I got a lot of compliments on it, honestly. So it's it's just a great washed out hoodie without you having to go and find one through a vintage route. It's like thermal, it feels thermally. Oh yeah, it's like thermal lined in the pocket. It's just really cool. I enjoy it. Uh, the only thing with this is that if you have any like oils or anything around you, stay far away from this hoodie because it really does like contrast if you have any oil near you. So just something to keep in mind. I know that sounds random, but if you spray fragrance, like don't spray it on the hoodie. You know what I mean? Like I'm a person that sprays fragrance onto my clothes, not onto my body. Cause like I, I'm very sensitive. So keep that in mind. Anyway. Very nice hoodie. I love the fade. I'm a very big advocate for like vintage. So like anything that's like brand new vintage, I love that. That's like 
sweet spot for me. Very good hoodie. Another favorite of mine, this is something that I got more confident. I, I got more comfortable to be confident in more recently. This is like a tight Rick Owens mainline zip hoodie. Kind of reminds you of some like athletic wear, like in the ballpark of like a Lululemon or like a, any type of athletic clothes like that. The only thing that I wish I had was pockets. That's about it. But um, it just really like slims you out. Kind of makes you, you look like very slim, like, it's a cool vibe. I really like this hoodie. I I really love this hoodie. I miss this hoodie. I put it on and I'm like, this is why I bought this. You know what I mean? So definitely a great one. Also really good price point, but makes sense because it's not much of a material, but maybe the simplicity of it is what makes it so good. You know, just good seams, good, great quality. It is a simple fabric, but it's a well-made fabric, if that makes sense. Good stretch, everything. Just a fantastic hoodie. Nice little ribbing on it too. I love this thing. This is great. Fantastic piece. Can't go wrong. Now this hoodie from Pack. This was a brand partnership that I did a while back. Um, I just really loved their product. They make fantastic things. And this was a funny video because I dropped the sponsorship video, yet their website wasn't ready yet. They only had their Instagram, so it kind of created a frenzy. So this is the Pack hoodie. Hopefully they have a website up and running by now. Um, but. Yeah, man, they make great product. Kind of similar to the Yeezy one, but just a bit more faded. It gives you like a washed black type of situation. Nice deep hood, but instead the pockets are on the side, which leaves for a clean front. If you're gonna make no pocket on the front, do this, people. If you own a brand, do this. Don't play, put pockets on your hoodie. I don't know why people don't do that. It's absurd to me. Never do that, okay? If you run a brand, don't do it. <laughs> I love this though. This is job well done, chef's kiss. One of the things that I love doing is pairing hoodies based on each and every scenario that I love. So if I'm going out, I'll wear a certain type of hoodie. If I'm cooling and kicking it with some friends, I'll do that same thing. And one of the things that I like to do so much in the same breath is pairing fragrances based on each and every occasion. Smooth, slight little segue to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Scentbird. So huge shout out to Scentbird. If you guys are not strangers on the channel, I've talked about Scentbird plenty of times before. One of the best reoccurring sponsors that we have on the channel. So I'm really, really grateful for them to support always. So if you guys don't know, Scentbird is a subscription based service for you guys to try out a multitude of fragrances. They have hundreds of fragrances for you guys to try out and there is like no commitment. So you could try out a different fragrance every month and you don't have to have the whole bottle. Most of the time fragrances are 50 ml, 100 ml. This is your chance to buy into them for a fraction of the price and get to find out something that you like and pair these sense based on your outfits. It's one of my favorite things to do. That's why I have so many fragrances in my arsenal now. So Scentbird is a great help for that. So this is their new cases that just came out. So we're going to pop that open so you could see which one is in here. And this one we have Maison 21G Sage Supreme. So this is going to be a sage based fragrance. Yeah, so this one's very earthy. I could see me wearing this like more on a summer's day, chilling in the park with some friends. It's like, it's very fresh, but not too forward. Getting a lot of those like grassy notes, earthy notes, stuff like that. So yeah, that's the occasion that I would wear something like this too. Very wearable. I like this a lot because it's not too pushy. It's like the right amount of scent, but it's still gonna linger on you and people are gonna think you smell very nice, which is important. This one here, this one is Mimosa Mantra. I'm gonna try this out. So this one is nice because it's very powdery, also very light, borderline on the feminine side, but not too sweet. It's just very like airy, fresh, powdery for sure. Slightly citrusy because of like the mimosa-esque nature to it. Uh, but yeah, really, really like this one. This is probably my favorite so far. I could definitely, I might I might wear this tonight because this is really nice. Yeah, this is this is tonight for sure. It's not a nighttime fragrance, but that is just sensual almost. Like I, I really like that one. <laughs> this one, nice little case. I'm enjoying the powder baby blue. This one is Lo Reve. I believe that I'm pronouncing that correctly, hopefully. So this one is very spicy, but also very herbal. You kind of get like basil, you kind of get like things like that, like more like herbs, like 
pure herbs like fresh from uh, a, like a farmer's market. Like if you're going to one of those markets in the summertime and you get those fresh herbs in, if you if you do a lot of like shopping for like cookouts and stuff like that, it's, just remember, it's bringing me to that type of moment. So I don't know if you guys are feeling me on that one, but shopping for herbs, if you're like into Italian cuisine and stuff like that, it smells like that. So very fresh herbal scent. Not so much like the first one that I showed you. That's more of like kind of like bassy. This is more fresh, pure on the fresh side. This one right here, this one is Atramental. Ooh, this one's kind of smoky, like very smoky. It's more like a kind of, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten those artisanal cocktails at, a, at any type of cocktail bar, but when they whip up, like it has like liquid smoke and there's like a smoke show going on with the cocktail, it kind of smells like that. So very nighttime type of fragrance. I can imagine this being like very sexy. So yeah, this is very smoky, smoky type of vibe. So if you're into that, that's what this is. So all that to say, make sure to click the link in the description box below and use my code Kai to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's only $8 for your first month to try out a fragrance. So very worth it. Get like a 30 day supply of fragrance. So that's like so much, so much you could do with that. I think fragrance is like the, another pivot that people make out of fashion. You just end up liking everything. You know what I mean? You like fashion, furniture, home decor, lifestyle, anything. You know what I mean? So it just really overlaps into one another. So that's why I like promoting Scentbird so much, especially as a person that is slowly becoming coming quite the fragrance purchaser and connoisseur, if I may say. So definitely check out Sandbird. It's very worth it to really figure out what you like out of a fragrance and also just to try something new. So huge shout out to Sandbird once again. And also great news, Sandbird is now available in Canada. So Canada, oh Canada. Let's get straight back into the video. Now this is probably my most standard fitting hoodie. This is just a simple, straight to the point, jowned black hoodie. Now, I know some people love jowned, some people hate jowned. I personally Personally, I'm on the side of loving it because sometimes simplicity is all you need. You don't need a lot of the rah-rah, all the glitz and the glam. Sometimes you just want to wear something that's just straight to the point what it is, you know? Yeah, one of the few standard cut hoodies that I have, it just fits as is. It's not oversized, it's not too tight. It just is what it is. It's great. Definitely recommend people to buy into the John hoodies. I know the price point is pretty steep, but I got this on Grailed for a very fair price, I would say. Definitely cop up if you're interested. I think it's a sick low vibe for sure. The only thing I miss is I had drawstrings here. I think they got lost in the wash, unfortunately, because I didn't tie them correctly. RIP my drawstrings onto the next one. I'll take it back a little bit. The one and only exception to having no pockets on your hoodie is this seventh stores hoodie. It is perfect right alongside the Yeezy Gap hoodie. This is the second thing to perfect in a hood. It's just such a soft material. Feels like it's never going to pill really great high quality deep hood fantastic cuffs like everything is just built to perfection with this hoodie um this is one of the gifted products that i got and i was like damn i love this like immediately and i was following them from prior like when they just just started their brand so i was really grateful and this is something that i wear consistently to the gym wearing it hanging with friends wearing it going out wearing it versatile hoodie all across the board it's just one of them ones if you don't want the yeezy gap hoodie because it's double layered and all that this is significant single layered, it's gonna do you justice, trust me. Fine. Alrighty, alrighty. Now we gotta support our peoples. Shout out to John and the team at Skina. I'm a official Skina brand ambassador without the program I put on for Skina because that's the gang. Shout out to Skina. They make amazing products. Shout out to John, amazing guy. And I'm just happy to see where Skina grows and develops into the future. John has a brilliant mind when it comes to design. So if you guys aren't onto Skina, definitely go tap in. They make crazy wide sweats, but they make so much more than that. So definitely tap in. They're gonna drop some really cool product in the coming months. So tap in, really, really cool. But onto this hoodie, just a cool little graphic situation. I don't have too many of these since like I sold a lot of like my old Supreme ones and other things of that nature. But this brought me back to like my streetwear roots, you know? Like I love wearing this when I'm like editing, going to the grocery store, stuff like that. Not to belittle this hoodie at all, but this is very top tier. I love this. All right, so this is the flannel hoodie. I wear this a lot when I'm just editing. Very cozy, oversized vibe. It kind of gives you like that ma situation it's just airbrushed very clean to the point nothing too crazy but what i like most big hood oversized very clean nothing too crazy like i said before but one of the more independent branded hoodies that i wear very frequently so yeah definitely go check them out great stuff 
Here we have a 13th Studios hoodie. This is kind of just like sun faded all over. It's very patchy, but what's cool about this is that it's reversible. So you can see, wait, is it on this side or this side? I don't want to reverse it all the way because I'm a lazy bastard, but there's a 13th Studios branding on the inside. So you can wear it more plain on the other side or have it more funky on this side, double layered, similar to the Easy Gap one. But yeah, great brand. They do a lot of collabs. They've done a collab with Bruce Drop Em Off, which is a Twitch streamer. He did like the merch for them, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of collabs labs and stuff so check them out cool stuff next city all right this is kai and his his basic b era but this is a little chrome hearts hoodie the only thing with this that i think i would do differently is just wash it out and make it a bit more faded look like a vintage one because the vintage ones hit a lot better than the new ones personally i always say with chrome hearts the clothing that's more merchy is supposed to be like the catalyst for the brand it's kind of like a billboard for the brand the jewelry and like the furniture and all that is like what is the money maker i feel like that's what the brand really should be not the clothes but uh actually no i think Take that back the pants are fire but um, everything else is you know you know what it but yeah this is still nice nonetheless got it for a really good price this is kind of in my whatnot era when i first started working with them i got this so yeah good hoodie i'm gonna fade it out over the next couple of years though it's gonna take a lot of visits to the dryer all right so this one this is me on my Allen iverson era you know i wear this when i'm trying to be like you know hood hood and cozy you know i, I love this this is a really well-made piece it's probably say woods is like best piece that they made besides the fleece the white fleece that i own as well but yeah this is this is definitely one of those ones made in the same factory as like you know like reese cooper stuff like just very well made made in la but yeah great st woods piece like i said before one of their best ones that they've made good french terry good quality definitely a reoccurring piece kind of like bape but without all the flair you know like not all the like cringiness so I wish Bape used to be what it used to be, but this is a great runner. Something that I'd wear in my current era of fashion. All right, so this one, this is probably one of my better finds for a hoodie. This was found in a thrift store. I think it was like $7 or something. Realtree camo is probably the best camo ever. I don't know why, it just works really well with my skin, just my outfits, everything, like vintage. It looks vintage, it looks high-end at the same time sometimes. It's just very versatile. I like this camo a lot, and it's a good layering piece. You guys know how I feel about zip hoodies. I think you get the duality of having it all the way up or down. And yeah, the only thing I would change about this, I wish the hood was a bit bigger because I have a lot of hair, but besides that, it's fine. It has a nice little fade to it too because I've washed it a lot personally and the previous owner probably washed it a lot before and killing a deer or something. So there you go. Now it's mine and I'm not killing any deer. I'm just, I'm just dripping, that's it. Second Yeezy piece for this video. This is a large and in charge Yeezy Gap. No, Yeezy season three hoodie. This is mainline Yeezy, not Yeezy Gap, none of that. This is probably the best hoodies and knitwear that came out of Yeezy during this time, like Yeezy season three and four. Actually, Yeezy, Yeezy season three to six was just flames, but more specifically three. This is like when Young Thug did the fashion show and like Yachty and like Ian and like, that was like God tier, but all the clothing is just so good. This is like my favorite hue of yellow as well. So oversized zip hoodie in yellow. I mean, I mean, come on here. That's, that's, that's me in a nutshell. So I love this great piece. Best French Terry I think I've ever had on a hoodie besides the St. Woods one. But yeah, the French Terry is hitting on this one. Everything's made in Turkey. I don't know what the, the Turkish people were doing out there, but they were whipping up a storm when they made this French Terry. I'll tell you that much. So great hoodie. They, they go for a good price point on Grailed if you want to look for any. I also have a crew neck, but I don't know where it is. Hopefully I find it next week. First and only Balenciaga hoodie that I own. I think a lot of the other ones are just too heavily branded and oversized. For me, if I were to get one, I wish it would be like a bit more low key like this one, but this is probably the best Balenciaga hoodie that I've seen in a very long time. It was a woodman's wear piece. And what I like about it is that there's just like these features that you'll see me talk about consistently throughout this whole video is just like tidbits of vintage and, and designer and finding that like blending between the two. That's something I very much like and enjoy. But yeah, this was like a woman's large fits me perfectly. And yeah, that's it. Just plain to the point is great. I think I lost the damn strings on this one too. I don't know where they go. They just get eaten up somehow. I don't know what happens to them, but great piece nonetheless. This and the Vetmall one, very similar fits. They just serve a different purpose, if that makes sense. On to the last one. Yes, the last one. 
All right, guys, for the last one, I didn't come to play. This is probably the best vintage hoodie that I own. Uh, this is from Unsound Rags, once again, so shout out to the team over at Unsound Rags. This right here, crazy, bro. I thought I lost this just because I made this video. So I tucked away all my hoodies for two months, like I said before. I had this folded up in that pile, and I was looking to wear this one night, and I was like, I thought it was at Meg's house. I thought Louie might have hid it somewhere. I thought, I thought a lot of things, but I did not think that it was sitting right in front of I'll tell you that much. So one of my favorites It's very like cropped just kind of like femboy vibe and then the back it does a little swoop So it goes even more cropped than the back. It's just sick. It's a great nighttime summertime piece light layering You could just wear it all the time any day you want it's great. More more in the summertime though. In the winter, I would not wear this because it's just not going to do anything for you. But if you want a light layer in the summer, it'll serve you justice. And a vintage French Terry, nice wear, nice everything, and that's it. Okay, I don't know how much is going to get in frame, but this is all you guys are getting. This is the last edition of the hoodies. This is my Balenciaga pink zip up polo style hoodie. Uh, the reason why I'm only adding this in now is because I've been traveling around with this. Filmed the majority of this video right before I started traveling. I just got back now, um, but I'm about to throw this in the wash, but I figured I'd show you guys this beauty right here. This is definitely one of my favorite hoodies. Hopefully this is all in frame right now. If not, I'm gonna have another shot of it a bit more wide angle, but my house is a tornado right now because of all the unpacking and just catching back up to speed with regular life stuff. But I wanted to show you guys this beautiful hoodie. Definitely one of my faves in my collection. Such a grail of mine and I was so grateful to get this gifted to me through the recent sponsorship that I did with Holt Renfrew. So really nice piece embroidery on the back a little screen print on the sleeves actually no screen print on the back embroidery on the sleeves yeah that's good i think that is all the hoodies so thank you guys for watching that took the life out of me but it was very fun to film a lot of hoodies of course and a lot of black hoodies at that so it's making me kind of be like damn do i really need all of those but then i watched back the footage and every single one i'm, ex I'm excited to wear them so i think i'm keeping all of them or a couple of them might end up on the whatnot or whatever but the hoodies are essential so whatever you take from this video hopefully it's just that it's a staple in the wardrobe you can't knock a good hoodie and you're just gonna get plenty of wear out of it so let me know which ones you guys are interested in buying this summer, which was your favorite that I showed in this video, and what is your favorite go-to piece for layering or just anything that you love the most. I think hoodies is probably one of my top three, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for stopping by the channel once again. Like this video if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E, -E, so you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post Fitbits, this and that, so that's what you can check out on there. And see you guys on the next one. I'm off to Japan, I'm gonna be editing this in Japan. So J Japanese Kai, we up.